Now let's see parameterized mode. So parameterized modules have their another benefits. And basically, they make it possible to use a module or a particular design for different different configurations. Here is an example of a shift operation. So we have a module shift module. So if you see here, this is our shift module. We have an input signal and output signal. And here, so here what we are doing is we are shifting the input signal and assigning that shifted value to the output. So whatever the value of n is. So here if you see the value of n is 2. So the input signal will get shifted by 2 and then it will get assigned to our output signal. So this is a module which basically performs a shift operation. So now here if you see here we have a parameter. When I am instantiating this module, I will instantiate the module name then this is nothing but a user defined instance name and here we have input and output. So if I instantiate this module which is nothing but parameterized module like this, the default parameter in this module is having a value of 2. Now if I want to shift the input data by 3, I can instantiate this module like this where this is the module name and using a hash character. I can pass the parameter value. So this is 3 and here the uh, instance name and input and output. So now I will get the output which is 3 bit shifted input signal. And if I want to use a 5 bit shifter, I can instantiate this same module like this. I can pass the parameter 5 and this is the instance name and this is input and output. So here output will be nothing but 5 bit value shifted in input signal. So this is the benefit of using parameterized modules and this is the syntax here the module name and then we have to use this hash keyword and then the new parameter value. So if you have multiple parameters here we have only one parameter if you have multiple parameters we can pass those values parameter one value then comma parameter two values like this and then here is the instance name and then we have to do the port connection so there are two ways of port connections by name and by position the preferred is by name. So I hope this is clear. Now let's see one another concept of macros. So you saw here that a parameter is nothing but here we can define a constant value by using the parameters. So we can also do similar things using macros. So macros do string substitutions and do many of the jobs similar to parameters. But they are good for global parameters because they do not have to pass through modules. So if you see this is an important point if you see here while instantiating the module we can pass the parameter value but we cannot pass the macro values okay so if we have some very if we have some constant such that that constant value is used globally that means in multiple files so in that particular case we can consider using macro so the syntax of macro is defined is basically tick defined macro name and the value so if you see an example here, we have a macro which is nothing called m and its value is add. And now this macro basically we can define in one file and that file we can pull in all the modules. So whenever in all the modules, whenever there is a tick m, this tick m will get replaced by the value which is 8. So this is how we use the macros in our very log file. Hope this is clear.